We shall use Python dictionary with CSV module to create, store and retrieve our inventory data values. We have already done it using JSON file. Options are printed. For new file, press N. For appending, press A. Or to get values, press R. We get user input through input command. We use if loop here. If user input is lowercase n or uppercase n, the following code will be executed. This will be heading for our data. We shall populate inventory list with our entered data. Repeat variable is initiated. While repeat is not equal to e or exit, we shall keep on entering inventory data. Input command will ask the user of item name and its price. We will convert price to integer from string. Our already empty inventory list will be appended with dictionary items of entered item name and its price. Here we get user input to continue entering inventory or to exit and save the file. We shall open a CSV file. It will be created if doesn't exist. It is opened in write mode. Newline code will ensure that no empty row is inserted between our data. We use dictwriter function of CSV module to write data to our file f. The field names variable will include the heading of our data that we have defined earlier, that is, item and price. Since we have opened a new file, it is good to have heading of our data. So, we write these headers to our CSV file. Finally, we write each dictionary item of inventory list as row in CSV file using write row function of CSV module. Whenever we need to add more data to our inventory file, we shall use append option of our program. To write code, we shall copy paste the existing code and shall make a few changes. If command is changed with else if command, while option will be now capital or small, a. Write mode is changed to append mode. No need to repeat header again, so we delete it. That's it, we are ready to enter data. Let's open a new CSV file using an option. Keep on entering the list of items with prices using Python dictionary. Enter E to exit the loop. We open the CSV file and our entered data is there. To update our inventory file, we open it in append mode using option A. Append method will ensure that previous data is not washed. Enter the item list and prices as previously. Once finished entering data, use option E to exit. Our data is updated in the CSV file. To get price of our inventory items, we shall open the CSV file in read mode. For this, we need to select option R. We read our CSV file data using dict reader function of CSV module. Now our CSV data is ready as dict reader object. We can iterate through the data using for loop. Hence, finding value of X and Y and use these values to update our inventory dictionary. To better understand how values of X and Y are calculated, we print the data. Here we have dictionary of four items and their prices we already entered into our CSV file. Item and price keys have values for each dictionary. Hence, we calculate value X as first item name with corresponding price, and so on.
Let's enter code to calculate the price of item. We shall use the same while loop to repeat the command. User will enter the name of item for which price is required. Price of item is printed using dictionary slice method. Either repeat the function or use E to terminate the loop. No need to print data now, so we can delete it. Run the code with option R, enter the name of item for which price is required. Price of oil is 45. Similarly, get prices of items as you desire. Choose option E to exit the program. Please visit MyPython for beginner's tutorial for more information.